What's up guys? What is B12? And where do you get B12 currently on your diet? And can vegans get enough of it? Or is it the vegan silver bullet? Let's find out. What's up everybody, I'm Walter and welcome back to Vegan Yak where I yak about all things vegan. And I'll get you all the tips and info that you need to successfully go vegan and stay vegan. So before we dive into B12, why don't you just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that silly little bell. So that way the next time I'm yakking about something vegan, you'll be the first to know. Now B12, well B12 is the silver bullet to the vegan argument. It's the Achilles heel. Or at least that's what I've been told. I hear about it almost as much as I hear about protein, and it's usually coming from somebody when they've done a little bit of research about vegan diets. You can find articles that will tell you you can't get B12 on a vegan diet, especially when you're doing narrow-minded research about why you shouldn't go vegan. Hmm, should I be a vegan? Well, let's do some independent, unbiased research. See, vegansuck.com says you can't get enough B12. Ha! Well, wait a minute, let's back up. First of all, what even is B12? Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin that's essential to the metabolism of every human cell. And if you don't get enough of it, it can screw things up with things like your nervous system. So don't mess up your brain and make sure that you're getting enough B12. Now, where does B12 come from or originate from? Does it come from plants or animals? Well, neither actually, it's produced by bacteria that blankets our earth, and you can find high amounts of B12 in things like manure and unsanitized water. But I'm guessing since you don't eat either of those two things, hopefully, then that means that you're probably wondering, well, where do humans eat it and how can they get enough? Well, some people get B12 from the animals that they eat. Ha, see, I told ya. Okay, whoa, but hold on, how do the animals get it? Because some of these animals can accumulate this bacteria throughout their life, but oftentimes livestock is supplemented with B12 in their feed. Some studies even point to the fact that up to 90% of the world's synthetic B12 is given to farm animals. So if you thought you had vegans stumped because they don't live without supplementing, well, most likely you don't either. We're just cutting out the middleman and going to the source. Also, like I said, you can find B12 in high amounts in things like manure. And unfortunately, due to the living conditions of a lot of farm animals, they're oftentimes exposed to manure. And sometimes they're even fed manure. And that doesn't magically disappear when the animal is killed, chopped up, and makes it to your plate. Most meat is contaminated with fecal bacteria. It's thought that you used to be able to get enough B12 from unsanitized water, soil, and therefore plant foods. But with modern sanitization and the overuse of antibiotics and pesticides, it's pretty much widely accepted that just eating plants nowadays will not get you enough B12. So sorry to say, but it is the vegan Achilles heel. I knew it, veganism's dumb, it's over, yes, finally, yes, my God. But wait, then how are all these vegans walking around without vitamin B12 deficiencies? I mean, every time that I get my blood work done, just like all of my other levels, my B12 is just fine. No, how is that possible? Well, because just like the animals you're eating are taking supplements, so can you. In fact, it seems like the safest way nowadays to get B12 is through a supplement. And it's been shown that in parts of the population, mostly made up of non-vegans, there are people not getting enough B12 and should be supplementing anyways. A movie called The Game Changers also has really great information about this. And the makers of the movie have some great debates out there about this topic and others. So I'll link that down below so you can also check those out if you want to. Also, there are foods that are fortified with B12, like vegan milks and substitutes, but it still seems like the safest way to make sure that you're getting enough B12 is to take a supplement. That's what I do. I take one to two vitamins a week because the doses are so high and I've never had a problem with my B12 levels. Now, some people do have a hard time absorbing B12 from food or supplements, and they end up having to get injections of B12. And although I've seen the myth being floated around that all vegans have to get injections, that's simply not true. And as always, I recommend that you see a doctor if you're really worried about your B12 levels. 
Also, the future might hold some hope that there is some bioactive B12 on some plants. I saw this cool article in Plant-Based News where researchers found B12 on some water lentils. And it was something like 100 grams of the water lentils would get you 750% of your daily value of B12. So maybe in the future, we won't even be taking supplements. We'll just be eating some water lentils. I don't know. But I'm sorry to say that veganism wasn't thwarted today due to the B12 argument. No. <laughs> This video is the second video in a series called Why You Are Not a Vegan, where I'm taking a look at all of the reasons why people say they can't go vegan and if there's any merit to them. When the next video is done, I'll link it right here so you can keep on going. But if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, make sure you start taking a look at what you can do and not at what you can't do. Thanks.